Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. First, before we jump into anything, let's talk about this week's schedule. So, today is a jewelry video. It is Monday, 9-18, and it's going to be launching at 4 p.m. as usual. Wednesday, when I usually have my other jewelry video, we'll be doing a shorter video, but I'm also going to try to have a purse auction. So this is going to be live, okay? So a live purse auction, Wednesday the 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern, and it's going to be um, purses that have already been shown. So you may have seen them, you may not have, depending on if you watch all of my purse sale videos, but we're gonna be doing deals on deals on deals. So basically what we're gonna be doing is I'm going to do like probably one, five, and ten dollar starts. So, um, you know, we'll start some purses at a dollar, we'll start some at five, we'll start some at ten. Um, so, depending on, you know, I didn't even look at what I have, but we're going to go through, you know, a few where it's not going to be a very long auction but we're gonna see if um, this works out. So we're gonna have a live purse auction Wednesday the 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern. And that same day, I will still do a jewelry video, but it'll be a shorter one, maybe only like a half hour, 45 minutes, just so I'm not overwhelming myself with emails and then having to do a live show. Okay, so, um, and then Friday will be the usual purse sale video um, at 4 p.m. Eastern. All right, so this is the, these are the ordering instructions on how to place an order if you see anything that you like to purchase in this video. Everything is also down in the description box. Uh, we'll do a number um, video today, so please give me the number and a brief description, also the price if you're able to. When you email me, make sure you check that sold list. That's the most important part, you guys. Um, check that sold list before you email me. You'll be able to tell if something is available by looking at that list. Um, you can refresh the list by going out of the video and coming back in and it will give you the most up-to-date list. You can do that as many times as you'd like to keep updating the list. Um, let me know if you want to hold the items throughout the week. You just have to pay for them as you go and I will send you a shipping invoice at the end of the week. So we're going to do the jewelry a little bit different this week. So we, I have like draws and draws of jewelry so what we're gonna do today is we're we're gonna do like um categories so today is going to be um rings watches and brooches and then on wednesday we'll do maybe earrings and necklaces or maybe some earrings bracelets and necklaces something like that all right so we're gonna go by category this week so today again, rings, watches, brooches. And what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna use the actual numbers. I'm just going to write on the um, baggie. All right, so let's just dive right in. So these, this is the first item and I'm literally just randomly pulling things from this bin. So um, these are, these look like rings. So you get two. These look like nice knuckle rings, like, okay, so they're gold tone. All the rhinestones are there. Actually do this one. I would say they're about a seven and a half. Yeah. So you get both. I'm actually gonna use a bigger bag for this though, for this one though, because I mean, those barely fit. So these are number one, and they will be $5 for both. And I got a new marker, new markers from a subscriber, so I'm not going to be um, missing the cap and getting it all over my fingers anymore. So thank you. And I also got a new tape measure from that same uh, subscriber, so thank you, thank you so, so much. Because I still hadn't hadn't gotten a new tape measure. <laughs> so number one, five dollars for the rings. All right, so they'll be, let's see, let's do this one. Okay. 
All right, this one is a Sarah Coventry. Never fails. Dallas is always on to something. <laughs> so Sarah Cove right there on the back, it is a brooch. Um, this just feels like a, an acrylic cabochon, but it's green. It's in very good condition. And this one is number two, and we will do that one for $8. Okay, Sarah Cove number two, $8. We got this big brooch, look at that one. Gold tone, uh, Rivoli, clear Rivoli in the center. There's a couple light scratches on the back of the brooch. The front, I mean, there's a few, but it's very, very light. It is quite large. This one is number three, and we'll do that for $6. Number three, $6. Dolly, there's nobody here, Bubba. Stop it. So this one is, this one's a Jerry's. It's a gold tone leaf brooch. Very good condition. And this one is number four, right? Four, and we'll do that for $5. Number four, $5. Dallas, here, speaking of doggies, let's do this one. So it's silver tone, um, bone brooch in pewter by Jim Clift. And it's got little danglies on it. And this one, all right, so this one didn't have a bag, so let me get one. This one's number five. Dallas, and we'll do that for $8. Okay, so number five, $8. That one could even make a great gift for the holidays. All right, let's see what the, there's two in this one. Some of these bags have two in them. So we'll do the little set here while well, the little duo, I don't know if it's an actual set. So this has um, no maker marks red acrylic gold tone this one is gold tone with all of these enamels some yellow brown red and green that actually might be purple um and no markings on this one either so we have both of these for number six and we'll do those for eight dollars eight dollars number six Next up, we have a super cute doggy. He's got red eyes, little rhinestones all over, and some black enamel. He's pretty heavy. I don't think he's marked. That looked like a cartouche there for a second, but tis not. So we got the doggy, and he is number seven, and we'll do him for 10. $10, number seven. Here's just a little costume ring. <clears throat> this one is a faux turquoise, um, silver tone, kind of like an antiqued silver tone. It is a size, I would say five and a half because it is a very thick band. So size five and a half. And this is number eight and we'll do that for $5. Number eight, five dollars. Ooh, I have a, an, um, a mini mosaic. Look at that, how pretty is that? Um, this one's not marked, usually they're marked Italy, um, but this one's not marked. It is not missing any of the tiles though. Everything looks really great. It's a smaller one, it is number nine, and we will do that one for 15. Number nine, $15. All 
All right, let's see. Let's do... Let's do this coral brooch. Look at this one. This will be great for the holidays. Gold tone with that like white texture. Marked coral right there in the middle. Slight bend in the pin. Really cool brooch. You can really wear that at any direction. It's in really great condition. Otherwise, um, it's number 10. And we will do this one for 15 as well. Number 10, $15. Next up, we have a brooch marked Made in Israel, right down here. I do not think that this is sterling, but that is definitely some type of stone. <clears throat> it's very pretty. It's, it's a lot brighter in person um, than what's showing up on the camera. But that's pretty cool. I keep losing focus, there we go. So Made in Israel brooch. That one is number 11 and we'll do that for $8. $8, number 11. Let's pick out another ring. Let's see what's this one. Let's check that stone there. This looks like it might be stainless steel. It's not marked, but it could be. Looks like maybe a, a men's um, wedding band or it could be like a thumb ring, something like that. So while Pressy's warming up, this is a size 12. Size 12 and let's get Pressy the Presidium over here. Mm -hmm. I still never got her new batteries. I should probably do that. Okay. Let's see. All right. It looks like it's just glass. So for the ring, we will do, let's see, that's going to be number 12. Let's do that for $6. Okay. Number 12, $6. This is a cool ring. I think this might be, I think it might be glass in there. Very cool. It is adjustable, silver tone, large cocktail ring. It's in pretty good shape. It's adjustable, but right now it's sitting at about a seven, seven and a quarter. So for the ring, a ding ding, it's lucky number 13, and we will do that for $5. What do we got next? Let's do this one. Here's a brooch. Get it all situated. It is, it's got all these tassels, chain tassel -y bits. Silver tone, it's got some faux abalone, rhinestones, little brochy poo. Pretty cool. So this one is number 14, and we will do that for $8. $8, number 14. All right, next up is a little pair of kitty cats. So we have a silver tone one and a gold tone one. If you can see, the gold tone looks like it might have some, you know, wear or maybe it just needs to be polished. I'm not exactly sure. Um, no maker marks. So this one's number 15 and we'll do it for $5. Five dollars. Five dull hairs. Okay, next. 
We'll do this cool brooch. This is all metal with some florals, some faux pearls, and like a little double dangle chain here. There's your backing, no maker marks. Very cool, I like the leaves on this one. Very unique. So this is number 16 and we'll do this for $6. Number 16, $6. All right, um, let's do let's do a butterfly. There we go. A little bit of darkening of the gold tone, but pretty nice. Lightweight metal brooch. Fairly fairly on the larger side there. This is number seventeen, and we'll do that for five dollars. Number seventeen, five dollars. Um, <clears throat> let's see, let's do, speaking of butterflies, let's do this butterfly ring. Um, I don't think this one is sterling. It's very pretty though. Let's see. Oh, it might be. Was, I didn't see any markings though. We can test it really fast. Okay, I'm gonna think not, because the scratch is kind of red, which is usually the copper. Okay, correct, it is not sterling. So it might have like some type of plating on it that makes it non-magnetic, but it is very pretty. It kind of like stands up Got some rhinestones in the center. Very good condition. This one is, I would say it's about an eight because it is very wide. So size eight on the butterfly ring. And this is number 18 and we'll do that for $10. Number 18, $10. Let me just move all my, all these up in the bin because it's, Okay, all right, let's do this cutie little single rose. Okay, you got some enamel, it's all metal with the um, green and red. I don't see any maker marks. It seems like it's in pretty good condition. This one is number 19, and we'll do that one for $4. Number 19, $4. Little cutie. Um, ooh, let's do this one. This is a dragonfly. And it does say something on the back. And let me just look at what that says. I don't think it's upside down. Oops, I think it's upside down. Tat, T-A-T. So this is very pretty. It's in very good condition. Um, the faux pearl doesn't even have any scratches on it. It's just got like some manufacturing marks on it. Uh, these are all acrylic stones. Very pretty. So for the T-A-T dragonfly brooch, it's number 20. And we're going to do that one for $12. $12, number 20. All right, let's see. This one has no markings. It's gold tone. Yeah. Um, it's like a little branch with some rhinestones. Very pretty. Small but mighty. This is number 21. And we'll do that one for $6. That one's really cool. Um, so here's another duo, another two-piecer. So we have this one, which is like a light gold tone. No maker marks with the clear rhinestones. Then there's this one, which is silver tone. It probably needs to be cleaned up a little bit 
in here. Uh, this one is a Crown Trafari. Let me just put that pin back in there. Okay, this one's a Crown Trafari, but it does need a little bit of cleaning. So you get both of those, number 22, and we'll do those for $8, all right? Number 22, $8, and you get both. Up next, this one's really cool. It is wood. It says Bethlehem on the back with this little, it's not even a sticker, it's like painted on. It looks like a sticker, like a price tag, but that's painted on there. So that's actually very cool. Very unique brooch. That is number 23. And let's do that one for 10, that's pretty cool. Bethlehem. Wooden brooch, $10, number 23. Um, okay, let's go in here. This one, it says Premier Designs. Yeah, PD in there is Premier Designs. It's a dome ring. It's pretty cool, I like that. It is a size eight. Pretty good condition, it will come in the box. Box is a little messed up, but. So Premier Designs, size eight. So let me get a bag for this one. Size eight, let me see. Um, it's number 24. And we'll do that for $10, okay? Premier Design, size eight, number 24, $10. We'll do this little, this little tack pin dude. Got some enamel on his belly, rhinestone eyes, gold tone. It is a tack pin. I believe it's Avon, that little dot is, um, is Avon. <clears throat> so for the cutie little owl tack pin, this is number 25. We'll do $5. Um, I said we were doing watches, but I don't really see any in this bin. Oh, here's one. So this one is a Marc Jacobs. I think, yeah, this has to be changed, but I think the mark by Marc Jacobs goes around as well. That's why it looks crooked. Um, I will change the battery. This one looks like one that Kyle has to do because it's that pressurized one. I'll have to see if I can get it changed. Um, but it's gold tone. It seems like it's in really good condition for the most part. Um, it is a size seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it unless Kyle can change the battery on it, um, unless it's one of the ones that start moving when, when it's on your wrist. Let me just see. Like when you move around with it. No, I don't think so. Okay, anyway, so if it does work and we can get it working, because I know I did have it this working at one point, um, it'll be number 26, and we'll do that one for $20. All right, that's a really good deal. 20 bucks for a Marc Jacobs watch. And I'm gonna leave this on the side so I know that it needs a battery change. All right, next up we have a little kitty cat in a matte gold tone, black and red collar. This looks like something MMA would do, Metropolitan Museum of Art. Really, really pretty guy. So for the matte gold tone cat, it's number 26. And let's do the kitty cat for $8. $8, number 26, and it's in really great condition. We have this ring. It has a brown rhinestone. 
glass rhinestone. It is a little bit adjustable. It is an Avon ring. It's in really great shape. There's very, very little gold tone wear to the back. So it sits comfortably at like a five and a half, but it can go to a six and a half. I don't want to push it too far. So five and a half to six and a half on the Avon ring, number 27, and we'll do that for $6. Really great ring for the fall. All right, let's see what else we got. Speaking of the kitty cats, let's do a dog. There's another gold, matte gold tone doggy. I forget what these are called, the ones with all the wrinkles. And this one's unmarked as well. Really cute, really great condition. Number 28, and we'll do that one for $8 as well. Number 28, $8, look at his cute little face. All right, looks like we have another little um, lot right here. So let's see what we got in here. So this one is, it looks like maybe a dogwood or like a cherry blossom. I don't, oh, there is a mark on it. Oh, I think that says Cerrito. Yeah, Cerrito 1985. Then we have, this one is a Liz Claiborne acrylic red heart kind of has a little bit of a projection to it with the red around the outsides then we have this is another cerrito um oops red rose brooch and then this one has no has no markings might need to be cleaned up a little bit but overall good condition so all four of those are number 29, and we're gonna do all four of those for $16, okay? $16, all four brooches. That's a deal because just one of those Cerrito can go for $16. <laughs> all right, let's do another ring, a ding, a ding. This one, I think it's just silver tone. It's got a nice piece of probably sea glass on there. Very unique ring. It is a size eight. Silver tone with like a frosted glass um, piece in the center. Number 30, and we will do that for $6. Number 30, $6. Looks like we have another little lot right here. All right, so we have this Big Mama. This is kind of like a brushed gold tone. A little bit of a bent pin on that one. You have a little um, white, probably could be bone, I'm not sure. Gold tone, no markings again on that one. This one is a Jerry's gold tone with a double rose. This one has no markings, silver tone with a uh, clear rhinestone flower. And then this one has no markings, gold tone rose. So you get all five of those, number 31, for 20 bucks. That's less than $5 a brooch. Okay, that's basically like getting one for free if they're all five dollars. Number 31, 20 bucks. All right, let's see what else we got. This one's cool. So, you know, the coin, the coin jewelry is very much in right now. So we got this nice coin brooch by Jean. It also could be one of those little like enhancer pieces. Put it on um, like a larger chain in between some pearls if you want. Really, really cool. It is metal. Um, and the color is true. It's like a, it's like an antique, antique kind of gold tone. 
pretty cool. So that one is number 32 and we'll do that one for $8. Number 32, $8. La, 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 la. Okay, let's see. We have a ring. Dallas, why are you growling? <laughs> this looks like just um, gold tone because there is some wear. Very, very light wear on this one. Clear rhinestones. Size 7. Really, really pretty though. Look at that on the finger. That's very pretty. So um, just a little bit of wear on this one and this one's number 33. And for that reason, we'll just do that for $5. All right, let's see, let's see. Ooh, let's do this one. This one is a mask brooch. Look at that, how cool. So this one does not have any markings. She's got a, what do they call that? Is that a librette? No, I think that's down here. I don't know, but she's got a piercing right there. She's got her ear pierced. There's a little bit of wear on her eyebrow up here, but she's got some rhinestones up on the crown. Very cool piece. Dolly, why do you, are you continuously growling? <laughs> Number 34, and we'll do that one for $8. $8, number 34. Okay, next up we have a ring. This one's actually just plastic. It's just an acrylic black with some gold and silver. Really good condition though. Just a little fun ring. So for the acrylic, it's in size nine. This one is number 35 and we'll do that for five bucks. Um, let's see, we have another ring. This one's really cool. It has like an acrylic um, little dome here with some, like a, a picture of feathers, if that makes sense. <laughs> it is just silver tone. There's a little bit of wear on the back. Uh, it's definitely smaller, but pretty cool. I can see someone wearing this to like a Renaissance festival or some type of cosplay, or just for fun, because it's a cool piece. So that's number 36, and we'll do that for $5. Oh, I didn't, wait, did I? Hang on. That's um, four and three fourths, right? Yeah. Yeah, four and three fourths, $5. do we have here is a really nice red enamel apple with green on the leaf no maker marks on this guy little brooch really really great condition it is number 37 and we'll do that for five dollars Looks like there are two in this little lot right here. So up first we have a, like a leaf, round leaf brooch. No maker marks. It's kind of like a silver tone. Um, really cool for fall. And then we have this one, which is really great for fall. It's kind of like a greenish enamel leaf. Not sure what the heart is, but you get both. This is number 38. And we'll do both of those for $8. Okay, it's a good deal. All right, next up. So I think this one might be sterling. So we'll check it, but that's really pretty. It's a little heart. And we'll also check the stone as well. It does say 925 inside. Okay, we 
are positive for sterling. Good, good. Put that away. Give you the size. It is a size seven. Really pretty. We're just gonna wait for Pressy to start up again. I actually had to have to order batteries. I don't have any. So hopefully this doesn't take too long because she's super slow because she needs some batteries. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this thing, but I think this ring is just glass. And I'm gonna need to get new batteries before I continue with this gem tester. So, um, like I said, it was a size seven, and this is number 39, sterling silver, and we'll do that one for $18. $18, blue glass, number 39. Let's do this one. This is an oldie. This might be brass with that, you know, dark red cabochon. It does have like a little bit of a C clasp. Very old. This would look great as a scarf, um, like clip though. So for that one, that's number 30. Wait, 30, uh, that's number 40, sorry. Number 40 and we'll do that one for $10. $10, number 40. Okay, so now I have to get another bin. And let's continue. This one is in a little baggie. So this one is a, a little ring. It's an itty bitty ring. I don't think it's sterling. It might be. No. Just silver tone, and it's got the um, turquoise and coral chips in it. This would look pretty cool as a midi ring, let me tell you. It actually fits really nicely, too. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off. Um, this is size 4, silver tone. I'm going to get a bigger bag because that one that it's in is itty-bitty. So this one is number 41, and we'll do this one for $10. Okay, so this one is number If you guys are interested in some Christmas items, here's a little star Santa Claus marked AAI on the back. Nice condition. I'm going to get a larger baggie for that guy, too. He's number 42, and we'll do that one for five bucks. 42, five dollars. Keeping on with the holiday, we have three dancing reindeer. This one is, it looks like Danecraft. Danecraft brooch, really, really cute. Good condition. Number 43, we'll do that one for $6. Look, we have a big lot right here. Dallas, stop it. All right, so we have, let's see, first one, this one is unmarked, silver tone like leaf. This one is a Jerry's silver tone wreath. This one is Sarah Coventry. Might need a little cleaning on this one. This one is unmarked. These are all brooches. This one's unmarked. This one is unmarked. That one's actually really pretty. And then you got a little bit of pink right here with this one. And this is an Avon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brooches you get in this little lot, okay? 
Let me get a bag that I can write on. All right, so this is number 44. And we're gonna do this one for 25, okay? So look, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and it's like you're getting two for free. All right, so $25, it's like $5 each and getting two for free. Number 44. Great for a little reseller a lot. So number 44, $25. Um, we have this little guy. This is a little shell ring carved with a bird. Very, very cute. Very cute. It is a size six. So we will do the bird shell ring number 45 for $5. What else do we got in here? Here's another little ring. This one is glass. You got the uh, glitter in there, the red. Very cool. Got some air bubbles. This is a size seven. So for the glass ring, that's number 46 and we'll do $5. All right, um, it looks like we have another little lot right here. So we have a silver tone with black acrylic rhinestones. Put that back in there. I don't see any maker marks. This one has kind of like gray rhinestones with a little bit of like a, I don't know, light amber color. No markings. And then this one looks like it's a 1948 brooch with some clear rhinestones. So you get all three, number 47, and we'll do that lot for $10. What else, what else do we have? Here's a Chico's. That's cute, the little lizard. Whoops, with the little asymmetric little danglies. Rhinestone eye, a little bend in the pin. Marked Chico's, very cute. Number 48, we'll do that one for $6. Number 48, $6. This one I know is sterling silver. This is by Guess. So, I don't know what that is. G something, 925 marked in there. It's pink right here. It is, I've definitely tested this one before. I know that it's um, sterling for sure. It is a size eight and three fourths. Pretty cool ring with the question mark. I'm gonna get a bigger bag for this one as well. This one is number 49, and we'll do that one for 20 bucks. It's a nice hunk of silver. So number 49, 20 bucks on the guest ring. Oh look, I have another one of these. So just make sure you're giving me the, the correct timestamp and the correct number. I mean the correct number. You only need a number in this video. Um, I forget what I charged for the other one. Poopy. Uh, oh, here it is. $8. Okay, so this one. Let me get a bag because that one wasn't in a bag. So this one is number 50. And it's $8, okay? $58. Um, 
This one I think is sterling. We'll have to, I'll have to check it again because I don't remember. A uh, little brooch. It is marked, oh yeah, it is sterling. It's marked MFA sterling. MFA sterling. And I'm just going to get a bigger bag for it. This one is number 51. And we'll do this one for 20 as well. Okay. $20, number 51. We have a little adjustable ring. This one's cool. It's giving me like antique vibes, but it is modern. It is adjustable, very antiqued gold tone. It's adjustable, but it's sitting at an eight. Clear rhinestone. Actually, they're more like a gray rhinestone. So this one is number 52, and we will do $5. Um, I have another little lot here. Two of them. Gold tone. This one is Sarah Coventry. This one's really pretty. This one is Monet. Okay, Monet and Sarah Coventry, gold tone brooches. You get both, number 53, and we're gonna do both of these for um, $10. That's a steal. Five bucks each on a Monet and Sarah Cove. Whoa. Number 53, $10. This one's pretty cool. Let's do this one. I have to get a bigger bag for it because this bag is teeny. Teensy tiny. Isn't that cool? I think this is definitely modern, but it's made to look um, antique, but I think that's still really cool. Um, this would be cool if you're doing kind of like a Halloween, um, you know, project of some sort or antique, you know, in your curio or something. This is number 54, and we'll do that one for $6. Number 54, $6. All right, uh, then we have this one. Oops. This one is marked Zental, Zental, Z-E-N-T-A-L-L. It's a little like wheelbarrow, gold tone. It's pretty unique. That's number 55, $5. 55, five doll hairs. All right, maybe we'll go up to 60. We'll leave off on a even number at least. So this one's really pretty. This is uh, ceramic and it's hand painted. There's the I think it says Marla W. So it does have uh, some wear and it looks like it may have been cut and sized at some point, even though it's only gold tone. Somebody really loved this ring. It's so pretty. So there is, you know, a couple little, or there are a couple little flaws. It is a size seven. Um, and this one is number 56, and we'll do that one, we'll just do it for five, since it has a couple little boo-boos. All right, next up, let's do, we'll do another little brooch lot. Oops, I just dropped it. So this one is... It's upside down, but it's 120th 12 karat gold filled CA. And then we're gonna put this one with it. Let me just get it out. What kind of bag is this in? I can't even see the opening. Okay, here we go. Kind of like a um, bunch of little circles all put together, no markings. So you got a branded gold filled and then an unmarked 
number 57, and we'll do that for $10 for both. 57, $10. And then let's do this one. Again, I'm going to need a bigger baggie because this one's a little small, but that's okay. Uh, that might be nephrite, gold tone. Oh, this is coro. Okay. So definitely a real stone. Um, this one, this one is number 58. And we'll do that one for ten dollars. All right, number fifty-eight, ten dollars for the coro. And fifty-nine. I have another little lot here. So we have a gold leaf. Very cute, perfect for fall. And then we have this. Let me put this back in here. Little bar brooch with the faux pearl. Okay, both seem to be in good shape. That's number 59, and we will do those for $8. And then number 60, we can also do a little lot. So you're going to get this guy. So this has... That feels like glass with silver tone, a little brooch. Then you're going to get this one. It is a Miss D, little seashell brooch. And then you'll get this guy, a beautiful little flower brooch. So you'll get all three for one money, number 60, and we'll do all three of those for $10. So again, that's like paying $5 each, but getting one for free. All right, so number 60, $10. All right, guys, so that wraps up the video. Here are the ordering instructions one more time. And remember... Um, Wednesday is going to be a short video at 4 p.m. Eastern because I want to try to do a live purse auction. Let me put live purse auction um, on at 7 p.m. Eastern. And these are going to be all like clearance purses. You know, you've probably seen them all already. They're not new purses. Um, so we're going to do $1, $5, $10, I think, start bids. So it's something I've never done before. So definitely come hang out and, um, you know, show your support. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe right down there. It's free. And if you click that bell to all, you'll be notified every time that I make a new video. All right, guys. Thanks so much again. And we'll see you in the next one.